All right, in this video, we're going to be using Onshape and the Vex Parts Library to create a simple machine. In our case, it's going to be a second or potentially a third class lever. All right, so if you haven't used the V5 library, you're going to need to log into your Onshape account, go over to the App Store, type in Vex V5, and then you'll see the Vex Parts Library. Simply click on that, subscribe, the cost is free, and then you are good to go and ready to use the Vex library. So once you do that, we're going to be uh, creating a new assembly here. So I'll click, click on the little plus, create assembly, and then now we are in a new assembly where we can start bringing in these Vex parts. So once you uh, install the library, you'll notice over here on the right hand side of your screen a little V5 symbol, which is our Vex library. So I'm going to click on that and it's going to expand the little library where we can start choosing um, parts. So in our case, we're going to need a couple structure pieces. I'm going to need a base plate. So I'm just going to click on the base plate, click Insert Part Studio, and then you will see that it will show up there in our assembly. I'm going to move this off to the background a little bit. All of our parts we're going to, will come into the same place there. Um, again, under structure, I'm going to take a piece of U channel. I'm going to leave it at the length that they suggest, which is 10 inches, and then insert parts. And then we'll move that to the side. And then we're going to grab a couple little um, assembly pieces here. So um, I'm going to need a couple um, flat bearings. So I'll just click insert assembly. There is one. Just going to grab that and move that off to the side. And we'll grab one more of those. Something to rotate around. All right, next we're going to grab a couple of plates for it to uh, for our little lever here to attach to. So we're going to go to the spacers and nope, not spacers and standoffs. We're going to go to gussets. Here it is, gussets. And I'm going to choose just a, a couple of these little angle coupler gussets. So we're going to insert that, going to move that off to the side, and then do the same thing again. So angle coupler gusset. So that works out. Okay. All right. So essentially what's going to happen is we're going to use these two couplers to kind of like be our uh, base and they're going to hold the, the, uh, the two bearings. And then uh, in between the two gussets is going to be our uh, lever. So we'll have a shaft going through this and then we're going to attach it to uh, the base plate. So the first thing that we're going to do is go ahead and take care of our little bushings. I'm going to um, fasten those onto the little gussets using a fastened constraint or a fastened mate. So to do that, we'll click M on the keyboard. We'll come over here and hover over the face of the bottom of the bushing. And then we're going to go out to the center. We want to grab this little center point out here. So we're going to click on that and select that mate connector. All right, so once we do that, we're going to come to the back side and we're gonna put this mate connector, gotta hover over this face, here we go. Mate connector about here is fine. All right, so you'll see that uh, it did mate up, but it's on the wrong side. So I'm going to click flip primary axis. That brings it onto the side that I want, but now I need to rotate it so that it is now uh, parallel with the, the top edge there. So we're going to go ahead and hit check, and we're going to do the exact same thing with the other gusset plate as well. So I'm just going to move this one over here, and then we're going to do the same thing with this one here. So we're going to be putting this one on this side right here. Well, Okay, so we're going to take this part here. I'm simply going to click on it, and then it gives me the option to rotate it in different directions. So if I grab this little guy here, turn it, and then I can just say 180 and enter. And now it flips it around so that these two gussets are facing each other. And now I'm going to mount this bearing right here so that the two of them will line up when they're facing each other. So I'm going to flip this around. I'm going to put a fasten constraint right here in the middle of that hole on the surface of the, of the back of the bearing. And then we're going to put that right here into this hole. So hover over the plate, hold shift, go out to the center and click. All right. So that is in the correct position right now. All right. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to uh, place a shaft on this. So let's go over here in our library, click on shafts, standard shaft. And I'm going to put this at, I'm uh, just making up a length here, but maybe 2.5 and hit insert into the part studio. So when we do that, you'll see we have this uh, shaft that showed up. I'm going to insert that through the bearing here. So we're going to do a fastened mate again. So I'm going to click M on the keyboard, hover over the end of this, choose the center mate connector. And then we're just going to place that right into one of the, the bearing gussets here. So there it is. You can see that, that is sticking through. So we're going to hit check. And then I'm going to insert, I'm going to mate the end of this one onto the other side of that shaft there. So we'll go ahead and just flip this around 
and we'll do the same thing. So I'm going to choose M on the keyboard, get my little thing, uh, dialog there. We're going to click on the end of the shaft. We're going to click on the make on the end of the bearing. And now you can see uh, one, one thing that's interesting is you'll see that now it moved it out of the other one, um, but that's okay. It's because it's ignoring all the other constraints and only focusing on this one for right now. If you were to hit solve, you can do that here on this uh, venue or on this one. You'll see that it solves for all of them and you'll see that it does line up. So this is what we want. So I'm going to go ahead and hit check. And now you can see we're going to put our lever onto the, the shaft here. So to do that, again, we're a um, little bit different this time. We're going to click M, but instead of using a fasten constraint, we're going to use a revolute. And that's going to allow the, um, the lever arm to rotate up and down. And what I want to do is use... Um, it doesn't matter. Uh, let's use this one right here. I'm going to use this corner little square here and I want to get that center of that square. So we're going to hover over the plate, hold shift, get the center of that square. Okay, that's going to be make connector number one. And then we're going to put that, um, it might be difficult to put it directly on the shaft. As you can see, it doesn't give me a, a choice for a make connector in the middle unless we were to say go down here to the end. And, and maybe that's fine. Maybe we can do that. So we'll just go ahead and we'll click here to do that. And then you see that it puts it um, kind of, I mean, it, it did go to the middle and that's fine, but it's way on the outside. So what we can do for right now is we can rotate it. There you go. So it's in the correct orientation. And now what we need to do is we need to shift it so that it's in between these two um, gussets here. So I'm going to do the offset and we're going to try and do like one inch and hit enter. And that's close. Two inches, hit enter. That's too much. So 1.5, hit enter. And let's see how we look there somewhere in between there, so maybe 1.75. That looks pretty good. So we're not hitting the bolts on either side, and this should be good to go there. All right, so we've got it uh, connected there, and now what we need to do is put this assembly on top of our little um, base plate right there. So again, we're gonna use the squares for this, so I'm going to hit M on the keyboard, do a fasten constraint, and then our fasten mate, and we're gonna choose the center of that hole. Okay, so that is uh, would be about roughly three holes back. So we're going to go here to our base plate. Uh, I'm just kind of guessing the middle here, so um, I'm going to choose this one here. Choose that and let's see what it looks like. Okay, so um, the one part came over, so I want to see the whole thing, so I'm going to hit solve. All right, and you can see that it did put it there, but it's now uh, underneath. I really want it to be on top, so I'm just going to click flip direction puts it on the top, hit solve, and now you can see what it looks like. And I think that looks pretty good, but we, we can move it to the left some. So I'm gonna use this Y axis here in the offset. So um, let's offset it. I know each of these holes are a quarter inch apart, I believe. So if I do like 0.5, it goes that way. And again, I can hit solve and it'll move all of them. And we can just kind of play around with the numbers until we get it to where uh, we think it, it might be good. So there's one, hit solve. That looks pretty good to me. Um, for now. So I'm going to go ahead and hit check. That looks pretty good. Um, and then now what I'm going to do is right click on the base, fix it in place. And then basically now that's not, it's going to be locked in place. It's not going to move around. So when we try to operate the lever by clicking and holding, you'll see that we can now um, operate this, what could be a second class lever, or it could be a third class lever, depending on where the effort and the, the resistance are. So this would be a, a simple little assembly using the VEX components, creating a first class, I'm sorry, a second class or third class lever.